the passive and active scans are no longer separated in Burp Suite Professional version 2. They're just part of the scan toolset. To start a passive scan similar to the one found in Burp Suite 1, go to the Target tab and right-click on the area of interest. In this case, I'm just going to click on the root. That'll open up the scan configuration. Check Audit Selected Items, and then go to the scan configuration. Let's look at this from a couple of different angles. First, there's a built-in check from the library that'll go ahead and set up a passive scan for you. But this is not just the passive items we saw from Burp Suite 1. This includes the JavaScript checks. So if we click OK and start the scan, what we'll notice is, is that this passive check takes quite a bit longer than we're used to if we're thinking that this is going to run like version 1. And that's because of the JavaScript checks. Let's look at how to set up the passive scan that does all the checks except for JavaScript. So we'll right click and click on scan. And again, we're going to select audit selected items and go to the scan configuration. Now we'll click new. And under the issues reported, we uncheck all of the different types except for passive. Notice that the built in passive scan from the library essentially looks like this with both the passive and the JavaScript analysis included. We click OK and that creates the task. If we go back to the dashboard, we can see the task running. And if we watch the target tab, we'll notice that results start to populate once they're found by the scanner. They populate here in the issues section as they're uncovered. Once the scan is complete, you can export the issues as always.